The history of scary stuff in Minecraft. Everybody knows what Minecraft is. Released in 2009, it is by far one of the most popular kids games to ever exist. Now with its over 10 years of being released, there is bound to be a bunch of creepy and weird mysterious things found within the game. And today, we're going to be covering some of the most weird, unsettling, disturbing, and creepy things that have been in Minecraft and how it has evolved over time. Now back in 2009, Minecraft was just being released. It was in its very early stages, so there wasn't much going on. But there was a couple updates, and in which one of those updates, there was zombies, creepers, skeletons, and spiders released. Now, these were some of the first hostile mobs to be introduced to Minecraft. Now, these were much more of a threat because you weren't able to hit back, and since there wasn't a day or night cycle, they would just spawn during the day. The AI wasn't very good, so, well, you could easily run away from them if you needed to. In 2010, Minecraft was finally getting its feet on the ground. 2010 was going to have one of the most phenomenal years in Minecraft history. This year would have brought the Nether update and one of gaming's most notable urban legends, Herobrine. Now with the Nether being added, the game had a completely new factor to it that made it a little bit unsettling and creepy. The Nether is, well, basically it's hell which definitely began to spark theories in people's minds for other creepy things that could possibly be in the game. And music discs were just released, including 11 and 13. With all of this, it was definitely bound to the community to start making up some urban legends about Minecraft, which, well, was exactly what they did. Now, this is the first ever recorded footage of Herobrine, recorded on a live stream by a user that was named Copeland. Now, I don't necessarily know how he did this because the whole live stream got deleted, except for this snippet, but basically, I'm pretty sure he retexturized a painting and placed it down somehow when no one was looking or something like that. But the theories went wild after this. And well, basically, the rest is history. This is what started it all. In 2011, we got one of the most creepiest mobs in Minecraft history. We also got nether fortresses, and the farlands were introduced to Minecraft. Plus more. Now, riding off the creepypasta wave that was in the early 2010s, including the creepypasta that came up about Herobrine, well, it was a smart decision to make Enderman basically based off of Slenderman. And with all this creepy hype going around Minecraft, it was a nice decision to add nether fortresses, which also included more nether mobs, which I'm pretty sure included blazes, gas, and magma cubes. They even included cave spiders into the game in this period as well. And with all of these mobs to watch out for, they also added a new biome this year, which was the Swamp Biome. Now, nothing was really of particular in this biome, but eventually down the road, it would later be known for witch huts to be inside of it. And as previously said, the Farlands were also introduced in this year, and it also created more creepypastas and urban legends, which, well, obviously made Minecraft even more popular. Now, 2012 was a pretty spooky year for Minecraft. There was an update called the Pretty Scary Update released on October 25th this year. And within this update, it included the Wither. But in prior updates to this, there was mine shafts introduced to the game and so as zombie sieges. And they introduced bats in the caves, but that's not really too scary. Might give you a quick little jump, but other than that, that's all this year had to offer. Now, 2013 didn't really have too much going on for it in this year, but there were some skin packs that were released that did include a couple creepy skins for Minecraft players to use. And this year also included the cave noises that are so infamously known in Minecraft. Now, with 2013 being very uneventful for creepy things in Minecraft, 2014 was by far one of the most eventful years for creepy things being included into Minecraft. 
a bunch of new creepypastas about the game were released this year, also including a creepypasta mod for Minecraft that included a bunch of mobs that were based off of the very popular creepypastas at the time. Now some of the most popular Minecraft creepypastas that were released this year included Null, which is a black character slash glitch that will place signs down saying Null on them and will basically stalk you while you're doing your own thing in the game. And the other most popular creepypasta released this year was Entity 303, which was a hacker that would torment Minecraft players that once used to work at Mojang but got fired by Notch himself. 2015 introduced probably one of the most coolest mashup packs Minecraft has ever seen, at least in my opinion. It introduced the Halloween mashup pack in 2015, and it is by far one of my favorites that they have ever released. It included a bunch of creepy stuff and textures, including skins that are some of my favorite to this day. But other than the mashup pack, there wasn't anything else going on. Nothing else creepy and no major updates to introduce anything creepy into the game. So this year was kind of boring. In 2016, a new structure was released and a bunch of hostile mobs were also released. And that structure was the Woodland Mansion and the Illagers that were included with it. So were Strays and Husk were also included in the game. Now I'm talking about the Evokers and Vindicators. These were the Illagers that were included in this update. And the evokers are by far some of the scariest mobs to face against because of how easily you can die against them. And with how big the woodland mansions are, you could easily stumble upon them very easily. And you can get very lost and might not be able to find your way out with all the hidden and secret rooms in it. Now in 2017, this is when the rise of clickbait videos for Minecraft began to start skyrocketing. Now, not just any ordinary clickbait videos, the ones that are involving the 3am challenges and all the creepy stuff that would be in Minecraft. And honestly, throughout my research, this was like the only thing I could find that was of the creepy nature in Minecraft for 2017. Just the creepy clickbait videos that began to rise this year. Now in 2018, nothing scary was actually really introduced into the game. No creepypastas, no stories, no urban legends, no nothing. So I'm just going to include the drowned because, well, I'm just not going to leave a category open like this. The drowned are a new variant of zombies that were, well, put in the ocean update and I guess they're kind of creepy, but other than that, that's really it. Now in 2019, barely anything was happening either. But this is when the clickbait horror Minecraft videos began to absolutely skyrocket. There wouldn't be a chance where you'd be scrolling through your browse feed and you wouldn't see one of these videos. Now, I absolutely hated this trend that was going on at the time because it was so annoying because all these videos were clearly fake. Now with 2019 and 2020 being some of the biggest years for Minecraft in the history of Minecraft. There was bound to be new things and a bunch of other stuff being added to the game. 2020 was the year the Nether update was released. Now while the update wasn't scary itself, it definitely added a bunch of new things to the Nether to be weary of. The new piglins and all the creatures that you would have to now watch out for and defend yourself against definitely made the Nether more challenging and scary to traverse through. And it's crazy to think that this update only came out two years ago. It felt like it came out yesterday. Now I'm going to include 2021 and 2022 as the same year. 2022 has only just started and the only thing that we have gotten from 2021 and this year is the Warden. This is by far one of the most terrifying looking mobs to be seen in Minecraft. While it was announced in 2021, the creature should be releasing this year. And I am very excited to see how the whole Caves and Cliffs update turns out when it is finally 100% released. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And comment down below if there is anything you would have liked to see in this video that I could have possibly missed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe as I said, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.